it's Angela Prophet, and you're tuning in to Productive and Profitable Wedding Planning on APTV. Today's tip is know the importance of lighting. When I first became a planner, lighting really didn't even exist. It was certainly not a budget item on my list of everything that the client should allocate for the decor and the design. However, today, I would not plan or do a wedding without lighting. It makes all the difference in the world for the photos and the videos. And even early on, as soon as a lighting company started, where I'm from in Nashville, and the guy that was a DJ who said, hey, I think I'm gonna op open a lighting company, would you use me? And he showed me some pictures of what things could look like. I'm like, yeah, this looks great. And then all the photos and the video, things look so much better. So I started to get better photos up on my website so people were seeing that. So I had a client come to me and hire me and lighting was in the budget. And as we got closer to the wedding, we had more RSVPs, we needed to cut some places and the bride did not understand the importance of lighting and she did not wanna pay for it and I certainly wasn't gonna fight her. Even though I try to educate my clients on where it's best to spend their money, they don't always listen. And so unfortunately, we had a negative outcome because after the wedding was over, which it was very dark, and if your venue is really dark, like a concert venue or a warehouse and there's no natural light, no windows, where do you expect the light to come from? Because once we turn the house lights off, or worse yet, if some of the lights are not on dimmers, then you don't have that ambient lighting anymore. So unfortunately, when the photography came back and the videography came back, it was all dark and you could hardly see anything. And of course, she was upset. So she wrote me an email about how dissatisfied she was with the photo and the video, which completely broke my heart because I'm not the kind of person at all that wants to say, I told you so. But I kind of thought that to myself and I was like, no, nah, I wish you would have listened. But she did come back and apologize and say, I should have listened to you. If there's any brides in the future that I can help educate, especially at this really dark venue where there are, there are no windows, there's no natural light, then certainly let me talk to them or be a reference just to listen to you. So at least she knew that I was trying to educate her and push her into the right direction. And unfortunately, she ended up obviously having a negative experience with photo and video team as well, when really I feel like they did the best that they could given the low light. So be sure that you educate your client and stay in your ground when you know what's best. Did you like this video? If you did, like it, subscribe, and share it with your friends. You can even leave me a comment, and if you have a wedding planning question, send it my way. If you want even more great resources to create a productive and profitable wedding planning business, plus some email updates from me that I only talk about in my email, come on over to my website, angelaprofit.com, and be sure to sign up for email updates. Thank you so much for tuning in to Productive and Profitable Wedding Planning on APTV.